Kia ora. My name is Gabby um, and I'm a cast member for Kiwi Moon. I play a little Kiwi and we're here with Evelyn and she's going to tell us some cool facts about Kiwis. Kia ora. My name's Evelyn Chase. I'm the kaiara here, Māori, for Pukaha. I love Kiwis. Their superpower is in their nostril, which is right at the bottom of their beak. They can smell really, really strong stuff. And they need it because when they're digging around in the ground, that's how they find their food. They have that nostril down there and it's sniffing out all their good food. They also have very sensitive with heat. So because the kiwi is a nocturnal bird, when it starts to get warm, they look around and go, ooh, a swarm. Does that mean the sun's coming up soon? And as the environment gets warmer, the kiwi goes, yep, it's time for me to go for a sleep. So for us here at Pukaha, the superpowers of a kiwi is their smelling through their beak and their nose and their skin when they can feel the heat rising. Our white kiwis are blonde. That's what's so special about them. They actually come from two brown kiwis that had a um, special gene in them that turned them blonde. At the moment we have one. We did have three. We had Manukura, who was our first white kiwi, and then we had Moriora, her younger brother, and now we have Mapuna. Mapuna is kept in the outside aviary with his partner, Manawa, and the kiwi that we have here at Pukaha are their children, Tia and Kaiwa. Manukura was our first white kiwi that was born. What happened is we have Operation Nest Egg here at Pukaha. So our rangers went out to her dad where he had an electrical bracelet on his foot. We went and bought the egg, we brought it back in here to hatch. Manukura's birth was really, really cool. We didn't even know about her until she was probably about three days old. It was such a big fright, but such a really good fright. To be honest, she was a bit of a princess, so she had lots of people adoring her. She was beautiful, and we were really, really sad when she passed away. Kiwi are really sensitive to high pitch noises, so I play them my kaworo. And they react by putting their head up, acknowledging that I am there, and then they come and find me. This sound I've played to them since they were in eats. <laughs> <laughs>